Hey there. We're going to be looking at the question why the law of attraction doesn't seem to work for some people. So if you've ever had in your mind, why isn't the law of attraction working for me or you specifically, or why the law of attraction doesn't seem to work for some people, or what can cause the law of attraction to fail for some people, we're going to be reviewing one answer to that question in this video. And what inspired this video was I was reading reviews to the law, to uh, the secret. And if you don't know the secret, which if you're watching this video, you probably do, but just as a quick reminder, the secret is probably one of the most successful books that has helped relaunch the topic of the law of attraction to the modern world. Now, the law of attraction, if you understand what it is, you understand that it always works, it has always been working, and it will continue to work because it is a law. And with that said, there have been many thinkers on the law of attraction. Some people have been keeping most of the ideas of the law of attraction a secret from the majority of people. But of course, with technology, with books, with writing, with more thinkers who have freedom of presenting ideas and speech, there have been more opportunities for masses and masses of people to learn about the law of attraction. So looking at the reviews of The Secret, it just amused me at this one idea. So even if you don't believe in the law of attraction, just pretend like it does for the purpose of this video. Just pretend for a second that what you want what you desire, what you think about most of the time is here for your taking, belongs to you, that it belongs to you, that in this world of abundance and all of that, that if you start to focus on the ideas or the things that you want, if you start to truly desire them, if you start to put the effort towards them to attract them into your life, if you start to do those things, that the law of attraction means that those things are going to start appearing and coming to you in your life. So with that said, just thinking about the law of attraction, even if you didn't believe about, believe it in the past or you're still skeptical of it, just pretend like it is possibly true for a second. Now, when you start to read some of these reviews on the law of attraction, you'll find this one missing element that can result in total failure in your ability to make it work for your favor, for your specific purposes. Now, what I mean by making it work for your specific purposes is because the law of attraction is always working, one thing that can prevent it from working in your favor for the exact precise things that you want or if you desire something and you feel like it's not working appropriately or you feel like it's not working fast enough and you want it to go quicker, one of the big questions that you or anybody else can ask themselves is are you open to the things that you want in your life have you made yourself open to the law of attraction have you made yourself open to the things that you have been working to attract have you made yourself open to the things you want and that is the biggest question so let me give you an example there's an example in the book, The Secret. I'm just going to summarize it, but I'm going to give you a couple more examples. So in the book, The Secret, it talks about a woman who was looking to attract a significant other. And after she did some research, she looked into her life and she realized that although she was doing all the exercises, doing all the, the activities, doing the suggested practices of the law of attraction and wanting and desiring the person that she wanted into her life, she realized that after she started to take a take an inventory of her life she wasn't really open to receiving what she wanted she found that her house the the house that she lived in the place that she lived in was not prepared to be open to another person that her garage was completely packed that her that her and only was inviting to one person that her home was not prepared for another person so let's unpack that story and reevaluated for some of these other areas. Now, think about some of these people who have written reviews and given one-star reviews on the book The Secret. Someone who says, well, the law of attraction, ah, it, it just doesn't make sense. I can't believe it. Oh, the law of attraction, this is, it makes me so angry that someone would possibly say that the law of attraction, if I just desire and want and think positively about the things that I want that 
it could possibly come to my life. That's just absurd. And, you know, I, I'm very upset about it. And, you know, I, I had to change my voice for the purpose of, you know, separating myself from this, this idea of what the law of attraction is about versus, you know, some of the people who are incredibly upset about this. And you got to realize that this large group of reviews that come negatively, which I think is so interesting because it, it, you know, speaks directly to this video is this topic of they're not even open. Those people are not even open to the law of attraction, to the ideas in the law of attraction that is always working. There were people who back in the day were not open to the law of physics, to understanding the laws of physics so that they could create airplanes. The, the Wright brothers understood the laws of physics. They accepted them. They were open to them. And that's what helped them create the first airplanes, the first flying devices, the first flying machines, or at least start to build the foundations from which they could grow. Because by understanding the law of physics, the law of lift and the law of air, air lift and all that, the Bernoulli's principle and all of that, they were able to start designing these machines that could fly. So in understanding that, imagine all of the people that did not accept these laws, that did not accept the idea that people could fly or that there were machines that could help people fly and to take people into, into the air. I mean, there were many people that didn't accept it. There were many people that didn't believe it. There were many people who, or there were many people that did believe it, but they had just not gotten the full principles or perhaps it went to the Wright brothers faster or they were not open to listening to other people's ideas. That's just one example. And those people that were not accepting of it were completely blown away that there was somebody that could take them into the air, which was the Wright brothers who expanded it helped to expand the horizons of, you know, flight and the future, which included jet engines and of course, space travel as well. So with that said, there were many, many examples like this. Now let's look back at the law of attraction. If we, you or I look at the law of attraction in our lives, if we start to consider the areas of why it may, we might feel like it's not working for us, you know, we start to think about all these things that we hear about. We think of abundance and we consider how much abundance there is in the world. Um, you know, it might not feel like that sometimes because with rising gas prices, we hear about supply and demand or, um, you know, we hear about like a shortage and droughts with water in, the, in, in Southern California, or you might hear about shortages all around the world, or we think about some people who live in third world countries who are, are suffering, who are not having enough resources, but also at the same time, other people in their country have incredible amounts of resources, at least the wealthy do in their countries. So when we start to think about these things, we start to come up with all of these examples of why there is a lack, that there is not abundance, that there, or we start to think like, 50 to 100 or 1,000 years in the future when we start to think of, well, what can happen if we don't have enough oil or we don't have enough gas or we don't, nobody has enough food or all of that. So we start to think about all these examples where there's going to be a lack where, you know, and we start to attract more of those thoughts. And that's just the law of attraction at work. But if you're looking, if you're the type of person that has been putting in the effort to make the law of attraction work, if you have been starting to think and desire and plan your life and to make an effort towards attracting the things in your life that you want, whether it be relationships, whether it be money, whether it be material things, whether it be relationships, whether it be more happiness, whether it be, um, you know, just better friends, family, whether you've been desiring for luxury experiences, exotic trips, a career promotion, whatever that is, let's say you've been putting in the effort to make the law of attraction work for yourself. What can be the missing piece? And what I took away from those, those interesting reviews is the idea that perhaps you have just not opened yourself to it. And this comes in one major part. We go on social media and we are just bombarded by messages and we're bombarded by people. We're bombarded by, 
you know, all these ideas. We're, we're on LinkedIn and we can connect with just about any celebrity in the world almost through social media. And we start to take for granted the law of attraction, how it's working. Maybe it's working even too well for us in many cases. Because say you want to meet a celebrity. Say you want to meet a per- person that can change your business life. Say that you want more money, more relationships, more happiness. We're being constantly being bombarded by all this the entertainment that makes us happy for a brief moment. These potential relationships, friends, followers, connections on LinkedIn that can potentially help and tra- transform our business. In fact, they're sending ads to us as we speak. And we start to take for granted these ideas or we see YouTube videos that give us answers to our lives and it gives us a boost for a moment. But we're taking for granted some of these ideas and we're not realizing that sometimes the law of attraction is working in our favor. And we have to ask ourselves or we should ask ourselves if we want the law of attraction to work. The things that I'm seeing, the things that are manifesting, the things that are appearing to me on my social media feeds or whatever, on the advertisements that I see on billboards, in the conversations that I have with people, am I open to receiving them? Say that you were waiting, that you're, you've been looking to be open to receiving a million dollars. Well, do you even have a bank account that can receive a million dollars at one time? Some bank accounts only allow you to receive 12000 15000 20000 maybe only $5,000 at a time for whatever your bank accounts say. So, you know, that's one part of it. Or are, are you, do you have many sources where people can send income? If you, do you have products online that people can purchase that are adding whatever amount of value that you are offering to them? Because the law of treasure doesn't say that, you know, if you think about it enough, it's not that things are just going to teleport and break the laws of physics or, you know, reality. I mean, perhaps maybe it could, but especially, you know, if you're in entertainment industry, the movie industry, I mean, you can come up with any story out there, but at the end of the day, and you can make that true on the physical, on the, on the uh, physical screen, right? If you're a creative, if you're a movie writer or all that, but in the reality, I mean, if you want to bring more of these things into your life, the biggest question is, are you prepared? Are you open? Do you have the, the resources or the openness to invite them in your life and to have them in your life? And this goes for business relationships as well. If you want a specific business person in your life, then are you open to having that conversation with the person? Or if you were not open, say, you know, you've been wanting to have a better business partner. You've been wanting to have a better business relationship. You've been wanting to make that deal with somebody that can potentially change your career forever, make multi-million dollar deals. Are you even prepared with the ideas, the systems, the business idea, the plan or whatever it is in place to invite that person? And even if the law of attraction says that that what you want is already yours, that what you want is already yours. You can have it. If you think about it, you plan for it and you make the effort to to think about the thoughts that are going to bring that into your life. Now, if you've thought the thoughts, if you've made the plans, if you've made, done all the things that you can possibly do to make the attraction, law of attraction work in your favor, then the person who's been making it work in the best effort possible is most likely going to attract all that into their lives. And This goes back to this one major idea in the law of attraction. Now, there's two major areas where people get stuck in the law of attraction based on what I've known, what I've spoken with people about, and it's the gap between the physical and the gap between the thought side. Because the law of attraction says that it's gonna be welcomed into your life, but most people believe that this requires no action at all, where that can be totally wrong and there's a whole other philosophy a world of philosophy that comes from this topic of um you know the diamond different buddhist sutras with that you know that area of philosophical and spiritual thinking where you are everything and everything is you 
um, you know, everything exists and nothing exists and that type of belief. And the law of attraction talks about that too, where the law of abundance, where, you know, everything that can possibly exist both belongs to you and all of that. But there can be that gap between the thought process and the physical process as well, the, the, the physical manifestation of these things. Because you can spend all that time thinking, but the thinking is ultimately what is most important because the thinking is eventually going to drive you to motivate you to want to do these things in a physical reality. And perhaps, just maybe, just maybe, the thinking is, is enough to get you going, to start to take those actions, to start to create the physical reality around you that is going to invite all of those resources. So let's use another example. Say you want to invite a promotion into your career. Let's say you want a promotion and you've been thinking about it, you've been thinking about it, you've been wanting it, you've been wanting it, you've been desiring it, you've been you know, making the vision boards of all these plans and everything. And for some reason you feel like it's not working, then you must ask yourself, what have you been not open to? That is the biggest question. What have you been not open to and what have you been doing that is not attracting that big promotion? Maybe it's something as simple as asking for it. Maybe it's that simple that you simply have not asked for it. Or at, let's say after you have asked for it. And we could go into so many, so many what ifs and consider these big, two big questions is what are you doing or what can you do to make the law of attraction work better? And what are you doing to not be open to receiving it? It could be thoughts. It could be unconscious thoughts. It could be, some people call them subconscious thoughts. It could be any of those areas. Or it could be a physical manifestation of simply not asking or not having the right activities, not having the right ideas, not having the right thoughts to be open to them. Maybe, you know, maybe you just have not prepared yourself. And simply not being prepared could not to, could automatically not disqualify you from having what is already yours, not disqualify you, but just make you, you yourself not ready and willing to take on those responsibilities or whatever you'd like to call them. So that is a big factor with the understanding that the law of attraction is always working and that which you desire, that which you want, that which you believe, that which you want and desire already belongs to you and it is there for your taking but are you prepared to take are you prepared to receive that has got to be the biggest factor that prevents some people from not allowing the work the work of the law of attraction not allowing the law of attraction to work for them so consider that look through the reviews if you don't believe me look through the reviews and you know the people that are against the law of attraction people that don't believe in a law of attraction the law of attraction is still going to work they are still going to invite the things they're going to invite the truth that the law of attraction does not work they're going to welcome those things into their lives and that is how things are going to manifest so with that said think of how the law of attraction is working for you imagine that world be open to receiving it and go ahead and look up the examples in this. Uh, if you just look up the reviews on the law of attraction, on the secret, on books around it, thinkers around it, and you will start to find these physical manifestations of these ideas in your own personal life. And, you know, just start to look around, go outside, go to, to work in your career, in your home. You know, think about the things that you want to attract. Think of the things that you've been wanting, you've been desiring, you've been looking and just consider how or the ways that perhaps you haven't been open to receiving those ideas. And the simple way to resolve that problem is to start thinking in the opposite. Start thinking in the direction of, well, how are you open to it? How can you open yourself up a little bit more? How can you receive that which you want? And also, how can you be a better attractive force to all that? And it's okay to accept that maybe you're not prepared or, you know, I've, I've had to do that many times. Maybe I'm not prepared. 
And when you realize that, when you real, when I realize that I have not been prepared to receive the things that I want, even though it's there for my taking, you know, that's something that I have to work on personally. And that's something everyone can potentially find to work on for themselves as well. And to turn this law of attraction into a massive magnetic force for you to help you achieve what it is that you want to have, be, and do whatever it is that you want. So with that, uh, I wish you the best. I wish you prosperity. Thank you for watching this video. And by the way, definitely check out the book, The Secret. They even have an audible if you prefer to listen while you're working or driving. They even have a movie on Amazon that you can watch and a movie that is basically the book, but it's more engaging because you get to see all of the amazing thinkers who are in the law of the secret or in the secret who are the experts in their field on the law of attraction. So with that, thank you for watching this video. Uh, thanks again and have a wonderful day.